Investigating the motion of a simple pendulum. To carry out this investigation, you will be provided with the following equipment. A protractor, a set square, a digital vernier caliper, a G-clamp, boss and clamp, a fiducial marker, a pendulum mounted on two boards, a stop clock and meter ruler. The clamp stand is also provided and must be securely clamped to the bench using the G-clamp. The base of the clamp stand must be secured above the taper at the edge of the clamp stand foot. Using the LCD vernier caliper before using the caliper, release the locking nut at the top of the mechanism. The jaws of the caliper can be moved apart using the rotary wheel at the base of the housing. There is a zero button to reset the caliper. And the calibration of the caliper must be in millimetres. Using the boss and clamp, secure the pendulum using the two boards with a loop of string between the boards to provide greater stability. Measuring the length of the pendulum is carried out using the meter ruler and a set square. The set square is placed against the base of the boards clamping the pendulum. The completion of the length measurement is to the top of the knot in the string. In theory, the pendulum length should be measured to the center of mass of the bob. Therefore, there is a systematic error in the length readings in this experiment. When starting the pendulum oscillation at any given length, do not draw the pendulum back further than an angle of 5 degrees To produce linear oscillations with little or no circular motion, use a low viewpoint in line with the path of the oscillation of the pendulum. In order to measure the time period of an oscillation, make sure that the viewpoint you choose is in line with the equilibrium position of the pendulum and is in line with the line on the fiducial mark. The time data in this table is the time taken for 10 oscillations of each length of the pendulum to have occurred. 